Hey YouTube, in this video, we're gonna go over a sequence called the morning routine. This has been made popular by functional range systems or what some people just refer to as functional range conditioning or simply FRC. The routine should take about 20 minutes. If you're unsure of the individual movements that I'm doing, you could always look back at the cars playlist because that's what these all are, controlled articular rotations. So I'm gonna start with the neck and just move fluidly through the body. Let's get started. Begin with flexing your neck down, rotate in flexion. Come to the end range of rotation and flexion, laterally flex. Now extending into rotation on that same side, ipsilateral, and then rotate to the other side, contralateral. Once you're there, come down through lateral flexion and then rotate into flexion. Coming back through center. Onto the scapula, maybe one at a time. Take the arm forward, a little to the side, elevate, retract, pull it back, depression down, protraction forward, and elevation back up. Other side. Take out the scapula, maybe like a 45 degree angle in the arm. Elevation, retraction, depression. Protraction to elevation. Moving on to the elbows. Let's flex the elbows in unison. Rotate, extend the elbows. When in, when in extension, rotate again, flex. Very simple. Down to the wrist. Let's stabilize the radius. So instead of rotating it like we did for the elbow, palm reflection, pulling the palm towards you and then into ulnar deviation, going towards the pinky side. Down for dorsiflexion. Over to radial deviation. Palm reflection ulnar deviation, dorsiflexion, radial deviation, other side. Starting by holding the radius, palm reflex, over to ulnar deviation, down to dorsiflexion, back to radial, into palm, or maybe one more time, ulnar to dorsi to radial, the thumb, to Palmer. Moving on to the shoulder, I'll take a slight uh, change of direction so you can see on an angle. I'm going to externally rotate and then adduct, reaching across body into flexion, reaching up overhead. And then abduction, coming back like I'm going to throw something, internal rotation into extension. From here, in reverse, reaching back through extension into abduction, start to externally rotate into flexion. Reaching up, keep externally rotating cross body. Adduction back to the floor. The other side, external rotation, adduction across body. Into flexion, reaching up, abduction away. Internal rotation into extension reaching behind you, and then in reverse, coming through extension to abduction, start externally rotating into flexion. Keep externally rotating cross body, adduction. Thoracic spine, keep it in the upper back. Let's cross the arms, flex one direction, or flex down, rotate one direction, side bend. Come back around, side bend to the other side, rotate, and then flex. Maybe in reverse, starting in thoracic flexion, rotation, side bend, back through extension, side bend, rotation, and down. Before we go into your lumbar and get to the floor, let's attack the hip in a different direction. We're gonna do this one standing. Actually, I'm gonna come over here and then we're gonna start flexion. So up, take it across, 
abduction away, try not to hike the hip, internal rotation into extension, kicking behind you. Now you could add a little adduction here and on the way back as well. So kicking through extension, abduction, I'm just kind of blocking my leg from going up and then adduction in the front, external rotation into abduction, internal rotation, extension and a little adduction in the back and trying not to hike your hip in the process. Other side, I'm just kind of holding my rib or even my hip down. I can start in flexion, abduction, internal rotation into extension. And I could try to cross a little in the back, maybe even bend the knee, coming back around through abduction, external rotation, adduction in the front, coming back, flexion, abduction, internal rotation to extension and trying not to hike the hip. I know it's difficult. And that's the point. This, this is a hard sequence. You're trying to move your limbs in the right articulations, assessing the body. All right, let's go into your lumbar spine. It's very slowly bring it into extension. One vertebra at a time. Start with the lumbar, go to thoracic, eventually cervical, reach forward a little, find the end range without pain. Start from the lumbar again, start to flex very slowly into thoracic and eventually cervical and reverse and just trying to make this articulated slow like a spinal wave always starting from one direction as opposed to just moving around a lot all right let's come on to the ground we're approaching the lower body the last few limbs let's take the same side arm underneath the thigh opposite arm holds on the tibia let's work the ankle plantar flexion and then inversion pushing the pinky side down to dorsiflexion pull the toes towards you to eversion push the big toe and the inner heel down while the other side is lifting back to plantar to inversion to dorsiflexion to eversion all right let's move on to the other side same side arm underneath opposite arm holds the tibia plantar flexion to inversion big toe inner heel to dorsiflexion to eversion to plantar flexion back to eversion let's go in reverse to dorsi pull the toes to inversion big toe inner heel all right i might even said that last inversion eversion wrong let's end it with the knee here i'm gonna rotate and hold tibia rotation in one direction extend the knee rotate tibia and down so i could do this by holding the thigh All right i could do it from a seated position where i just feel i can rotate that tibia and extend and flex the knee and there are a number of different ways to perform this from standing to seated all of these cars Let's not forget the other side. Rotate, extend, rotate, flex. And we went through all the joints rather quickly, but that's what this is. One routine, about 20 minutes to get your joints assessed to make sure everything's working right before you start your day, AKA the morning routine. I'm Jeff Posner. Thanks for joining me. This is Yoga Framework. Hope you have a great day.